Welcome back. This is M Dog. Let's catch a uh, fish here for you. This is Russian Fishing 4, of course, and we are fishing at the pond at Octuba, if you don't recognize our location. 126, 133. We will go ahead and open up the map, and take care of that here. There's a little buffalo. I've said on stream before, perhaps my favorite fish to catch in Russian Fishing 4. Don't know why exactly. I like carp fishing and I don't know, these little guys are just like slightly depressed looking, but I love them. I don't know. All right, so let's look and see where we are. Then we'll kind of look at uh, what we're catching here and also how we're approaching this spot. So it is G4, very well known spot. <clears throat> um, perhaps the most fished spot in all of Tuba. Is that fair to say? If it's not here, where would it be? That's what I ask you. Where would it be? Sure, the thumbnail is used a lot. And sure, there's a lot of little sturgeon spots that people spend a lot of hours at. But if you add up all the time that people spend in this spot over the years, come on, this has got to be number one, right? I don't know. That's, that's my suspicion, but I could be wrong. All right, so let's look at where we're catching. First of all, we are catching the buffalo, though I'll tell you, out of the 37 fish, we only have 10 buffalo. So this approach we're using with bait, buffalo is not primary. It's Plenty of them are buffalo, but it's not primary. We're also catching some nice common carp, more than I would have thought. In fact, we're up to 14 at the, at the present time. By the way, this is about an hour's worth of fishing, just so you know. Uh, we're also catching one gibble carp, two grass carp. So they're there, just not, not too many. And then... 10 wild carp. So, uh, you know, common carp are the main thing. I would say uh, buffalo and wild carp obviously come in second with the exact same amount. Um, so, a lot of fish, not a bad bite rate for, uh, yeah, we're actually over an hour now, but we just finished an overnight session which is why I, I didn't want to start the video till it was morning again. So most of those fish were caught in the one hour time. Looks like that fish is not on yet. We were getting quite the nibble going there, but uh, looks like it stopped biting. So anyway, uh, the, the largest fish so far has been a common carp. The second and third actually buffalo. So you can see buffalo trophy definitely possible here. Wild carp trophy possible as well. Common, I'm not sure, but uh, I've definitely seen the report. Some folks that have caught uh the uh, wild carp trophy here so i know that's a thing but i can tell from the sizes of the buffalo that are coming out that buffalo trophy would be feasible as well uh, and if you check the baits on wild carp and buffalo you'll see that a lot of them are similar to what we're using but that there's a lot of variety too um, so don't necessarily feel like you're locked into one bait approach here uh, you can kind of look at different things on the weekly list or different bait combinations that you typically would use on wild carp and or buffalo <clears throat> fishing here. So let's go ahead and look look at what I'm using. And, and by the way, when we get to the third line, um, uh, you'll see that this, this line is set up to try to hit trophies, right? So it's going to have the slowest bite rate. And in fact, if we had the third line set up like either of the first two lines or more similar to either one of them, the bite rate would be even better. And it's already a good bite rate. And I say that because when you're catching wild carp, buffalo, and common carp, what you're making per hour, the silver is going to be there. you know. And what's especially true with wild carp, and one, one of the reasons why I really love hitting spots where you're catching good wild carp, the XP. I mean, the silver is fine, but the XP on wild carp is just awesome so really adds up it's always fun to catch um catch some good wild carp especially if it's during your happy hour you know uh that's a good way to go all right so let's look at what we're fishing with 21 meter clip uh, i've been basically kind of casting in this direction if you fished here a lot it's pretty common to fish in this direction um the other thing is sometimes i will aim a little bit more west. I'm sorry, the Atlanta Braves just had the best comeback in the bottom of the ninth inning. In the top of the ninth, they gave up a two-run home run, went down by a run, walk-off uh, walk win in the bottom of the ninth. I, I kind of was 
so anxious about it. I was like, you know what, I'm just going to start recording this video and try not to be too distracted by it. Um, but I saw that they were doing stuff. And anyway, they just had a walk off win. The Braves needed that. All right. So we are casting all of our lines kind of right here in this direction. Uh, but like I said, sometimes it definitely pays off to spread them out a little bit. I think right now it's just, um, for whatever reason, I've had the best bite rate right over there. All right, so let's look at what we're fishing with here. First one, so one out hooks on all three. I think when there's wild carp uh, in the mix, going a little bit larger hook is fine. The buffalo are still biting. Maybe they'd bite better without it, but they're still biting. On this line, though, we have double, we've got double pellets on all three, by the way. So this one's king crab, halibut, spicy halibut dip. And then this is the PVA, kind of a PVA I threw together myself featuring all of the crab flavorings. And I will of course show that again in just a moment here, but let's go ahead and see. So we kind of want this to be a buffalo, I guess. It's pretty small. It's a little wild carp. Hopefully it is a marker. Yeah. We've only had one non-marker size fish in all the fish we've caught. And that was that one wild carp, right? This one right here. It was right when we started, <laughs> like one of the first fish. Oh, here's another one. Uh, yeah, that's the thing. I did notice this. So 24 hours in game ago, during that like 6, 7 a.m. till about 9 a.m., so here in the next 30 minutes, we uh, the bite rate's pretty insane. Fish after fish. It's really cool. It's really fun. Um, I've been here, as you see, quite a while now, so the spot may be slowing down for me a little bit just in general but the morning time is where it's at in terms of bite rate. All right, so um, let's look at the second line. Different approach here, still has the king crab, but instead of the halibut, we've got tuna this time, crab and fish dip instead of the spicy halibut dip. And then let me show you this PVA a little more um, thoroughly here. So notice that the um, there are three additives, right? King crab uh, pellets, crab pellets, crab pellets. The fourth, instead of an additive, we've actually got the pellets in there, the pellets themselves. So the bait, right? Other than that, we've got sunflower base, crab and mussels, attractant. I don't know that that base is right. Um, rape seeds might be a better option. I feel like I go back, I think you can go back and forth on, on those two uh, bases and it probably isn't that big a deal either way. And then crab and mussel. Uh, for the attractant. All right, so real quick, let's look at the third line. Still one out hook, so it looks like we're getting another nibble on that first line. And you see, we've caught a couple of fish on both lines now, still no fish on the third one. And that's definitely been the case. I bet we've only caught, you know, three or four total on the third line. Definitely slowing myself down by having that. Look at this. Look at this morning bite rate. We're going to get two more fish here before this video is over easy. So this one, we've got big boy pellets, 24, 25, spicy halibut dip, and the uh, same PVA. So notice the halibut and king crab together on the third line. So we've got three very different bait combinations. Although if these were smaller pellets, it would have a much better bite rate. Um, it, it just would, but I kind of don't mind. Now, if there were no wild carp trophies coming out here, then I wouldn't do that in this spot. That's definitely an approach that you, that's better. Oh, it's our second non-marker. And it's at such a good time of day. That's a bit odd. Maybe Again, maybe we're starting to fish it out a little bit. I don't know. Um, but I would not do that if it wasn't for the um, fact that wild carp trophies are coming out here. Sometimes this spot isn't very good for wild carp trophies, even if they're here a little bit. It's, it's often, this is more about the, um, the buffalo. A lot of times this is a good buffalo spot, but sometimes wild carps are pretty, pretty active. Uh, you might even see big heads occasionally, and you might see silver carp occasionally, although the silvers require a different approach, obviously. Um, so there's a couple more fish for you. And uh, let's look at the largest fish we've caught. So 18, 18, 18, 18, king crab halibut, king crab halibut, king crab halibut and then there's king crab tuna so doesn't this make you wonder like okay maybe king crab halibut's where it's at just seeing how that has here's the first fish we caught on the big boy pellets it's a grass carp it is the largest grass carp we've had but it was a grass carp 
and there's more king crab tuna. So king crab tuna a couple times on the first line and then king crab halibut three times. King crab tuna. So that's pretty varied. It's pretty varied actually. Um, we're going to get one more fish here. I'm, not, I'm trying not to extend this. This doesn't need to be a super long video. I've basically given you the info I wanted to. But uh, if we've got fish nibbling, I don't mind hanging on for another moment or two. Just see a little larger sample here. I mean, we're going to, we're up to 41, potentially 43 fish um, after these two. So really nice, really active spot at the moment. Uh, and again, chance to get some nice trophies. If you hit a buffalo trophy, that's good. If you hit a wild carp trophy, that's great. So... Um, really like that one thing that i'd be curious to check and i and i like to check it when i'm fishing in a spot where buffalo are biting is to see how active are the black buffalo um i haven't seen one but that doesn't i mean you know they're pretty rare uh but every once in a while they'll pop up and you'll start seeing okay that's our second gibble and that one's almost a trophy Thankfully, there aren't too many gibbles, uh, gibbles getting on our lines, though. So let's look at the uh, weekly black buffalo just to see. Yeah, so it's possible. I mean, you see the dates. Um, yesterday, today. Actually, yeah, that's right. So it's very similar, very similar baits to what we're using, to be honest. So uh, it looks like it is possible. But again, they're always a little rare. Sometimes they're just more rare than other times. So let's just run back to camp really quick before we do wrap it up just to see um, just to see if there happens to be any cafe orders. Uh, of course that's you know not the um, the most relevant information to you unless you're seeing this video pretty quickly, although, these days with the trophy cafe order staying around for so long, if there happened to be a trophy carp of some sort order that you feasibly could, you know, get lucky on in this spot, then that might be relevant for the next couple days or whatever. But let's see what we've got. And also just get a quick glance at what kind of silver we're talking about. I think it'll be respectable. I think when you catch these types of fish at a reasonable rate, it's always respectable. We're not breaking records out there, but I, I think it'll be pretty respectable. Yeah, 557 silver. Sorry, I went really fast there, didn't I? 557. Let's look at the price here. You notice that silver-wise, not a huge difference in buffalo, wild carp, common carp, right? But XP, whew, that's where the wild carp really shine. Um, so yeah, we've got the Xander trophy order right now. Not a lot that's going to be super helpful. The grass carp order with plenty of time left. Yeah, we can grab that, but it's whatever. We would probably not. Well, 29. So if we ended up with six gibbles, maybe. But I, I think our gibbles are just going to be so... Um, we're, I don't think we'd ever get to six. I won't be out here long enough. Okay. So let's um, let's do our little trick really quick and see... We don't have a fish on, so we can wrap it up right over here. One thing I did run out of today is watermelon, and I do love me some watermelon, so let's get a few melons here. Just in case you need a snack, it's always worth having some melons. And uh, yeah, and, and that'll pretty much wrap it up. I love the way Tuba, the little floating town looks. I think it's just so cool. Um, okay, hope that was helpful. And uh, yeah, catch, catch some of my favorite fish in Russian Fishing 4. Get you some buffalo at the tuba pond. All right, tight lines, everyone. I will see you next time.